Hey, what's up? It's not squared. Knoxhouse.com. How y'all doing? Back once again with another machine video. If you haven't got the 1.1 update, you need to head to the Native Instruments website and pick it up because it takes machine to the next level. A lot of goodies they added in there. And, uh, like, I can't get to all of them. And I won't even try because that would be too long a video. But uh, some of the things I like, one is a simple thing, but it's very important, is the record counting. For those of you that know me, you know that I usually will start out a beat in the... Uh, like this, you know, I'll just hit record, and I'll have his drum sounds, and I'll just time it at the same time, like, you know, something like that, and we clear it, but uh, now, hit shift, and record, two, three, and, so you got the count in there, and that, that, that really helps a lot of things, you know, so you don't have to sit there and time it, because sometimes it just doesn't time out right. If you sit there doing it by, you know, by ear. Um, another thing I like, you uh, got a sample on a pad. You can do more things with it with these two knobs, volume and tempo. Like I'll hold the pad down and turn the volume knob, and it just works for that particular pad when I'm holding the pad down. Real, it helps a lot when you're doing stuff and doing it real fast. Also, if you want to tune it, go to the tempo knob and turn it while you're holding the pad. Make your adjustments just that fast. And you can see in the um, in the hardware LEDs, you can see where it says, you know, the value is like minus 8, minus 9, plus this or whatever. So you could turn it back to where it needs to be without having to look at the software. So one of the other things that I really like was the um, auto chop. They added some auto chops. I never auto chop. If you've seen me before, you know I do it manually. I have a sample right here, and I'll edit, duplicate it to a bunch of pads. That's just how I do things. So... <clears throat> In the auto chop, I got a sample right here. It's one I got from the thrift store, 50 cent. And I'm talking about two quarters. I'm not talking about the artist, 50 cent. Just go to the thrift store and get those moldy records. So uh, I go to the edit. I'm in the slice mode. As you can see, it's one fourth. They're cutting in fourths. Now it's cutting in eighths, sixteenths, and thirty two. All right. So you got. Different, uh, you can do them like different slice parameters now. It works good, you know. So let me turn it back to four, and that that really helps, you know, because it gives you more more of a uh, more of what you want to do, how you want to do it, you know. I use fours, so that helps me out because I didn't want to use sixteens, and that's what it was before. So let me do. I hit apply to, and I'll apply it right here. And it'll chop it up for me. Now, it puts it in pad mode. Now I got the chops. All those different samples. And I love it because it chops it. I'm starting to get into auto chopping a little bit because it puts it places where I wouldn't normally put it. And I like the surprise element. That's what I love about sampling because you never know what you're going to get, even if you mess up or whatever. So uh, I'm going to put a little joint together. Uh, let me see. Boom, boom. Uh, let's do this. I actually was working on something earlier with the same sample. And... Let's go ahead and put it down. Get lost in the flow like they say, right? And here goes the record counting, which I love. Two, three, and... Now I'm going to quantize that. Let's go ahead and drop the beat. Off, quantize. Now it's back on. Here we go. Turn the click track off. We're getting lost in the flow now. <laughs>
Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go do some effects. Those of you know me know I like filter. I just held auto right now while I was doing that and it automated as you can see on the software. Let's try it low. I like that. Now what I'ma do is I'm gonna go to Group G, hit sample, I'm gonna sample internally. Sample group A, which is that filter. Sync it for two bars, all I gotta do is hit start. Here we go. And stop. What you know what's there? You gotta love it, right? Be lost in the flow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this. Anyway, I love the auto chop. I love my manual, but I love the auto chop. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, they got some other goodies like MIDI out and uh, also drag and drop the audio and patterns and stuff like that. Definitely go check out the, um, the website because it gives you an update. Or actually the forms. Go check out the forms too, because it gives you an update of uh, you know what the uh, what things are added, and it's all good. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed this little video. I'm gonna be coming back with some more stuff. You know that it you know the updates have. You know maybe the MIDI the MIDI out to external because I got some external gear the machine can control by MIDI and also internal soft sense complete six. You know that's how we roll. All right. Not square. Knockshouse.com, baby. <laughs> Wow.